All right, what's up guys? Coming at you again with another review. And today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 45 ACP. Exactly uh, seven months after my initial review. All right. Before we go ahead and begin, let's just do the standard safety check. So we're gonna go ahead and take the mag out. Nothing there. It's kind of dirty. I just came back from the range. And let's go ahead and rack the slide. Physically check the chamber. Visually, gun is safe. All right. So the M&P Shield 45 came out after the um, 9mm version and the 40 Smith & Wesson version was released. Uh, the 45 ACP standard magazine holds 6 plus 1. The extended magazine gives you 7 plus 1. But you have, you know, 45 ACP, which is a bigger round in comparison to, say, the 9mm. In terms of uh, comparison size-wise to the actual 9mm shield, here we have them uh, side by side. You can see that the 45 ACP is a little bit thicker than the 9, which is expected. Lengthwise, The grip is a little bit longer as well. Also, it has a slightly longer barrel. So, it's a little bit bigger than the um, 9mm version. It does handle recoil very well for such a small gun shooting such a, you know, a big bullet. The takedown is pretty much the same. I'll show you guys real quickly. Let's wrap the slide, rotate this lever, pull back on the slide, pull the trigger, it comes off. Take out your spring, the barrel. And that's pretty much it. So we have one, two, three, four, four different pieces. Um, to put it back together, it's just as easy. Like I said, the gun is filthy because I just came from the range and put roughly about 200 rounds through. So, lock back the slide, we'll take the lever up, and the gun is back in battery. A lot of people like the 45 ACP, you know, the, the 45 round is a favorite. You know, has been a favorite in America for a very long time, uh, primarily because of the uh, 1911 pistol. You know, some people just say, hey, listen, the 9mm is not sufficient enough stopping power, or listen, I want to put big holes in whatever I shoot. You know, if that's you, then, and you're looking for a concealed carry gun that's small enough and still holds about the same as a 1911. You could look at the um, Smith & Wesson Shield chambered in 45 ACP. It shoots phenomenal. I can tell you that. I have no complaints whatsoever as far as accuracy with this gun. Self-defense accuracy. Like I said with the 6 round magazine, we have the um, 7 round magazine which gives you 7 plus 1. And it also gives you a slightly um, bigger grip. If you notice there, my pinky is like fully on the gun, whereas with the uh, six round mag, still on it to an extent, but a portion of my pinky is hanging off as you can see there. So, but this is actually how I carry it. I actually carry it with this magazine because um, it sticks out less and um, 
I can shoot pretty good with this magazine. Actually, I took it to the range today and I didn't use the seven round magazine at all. I kept loading up this magazine with five rounds and taking shots. Um, as far as like modifications, I didn't really do too much to this. I did make um, some mods. Uh, one of the um, first things I did was I went ahead and added the um, True Glow TFO sights, which are yellow in the rear and green on the front post. And that made a, a, a nice difference in terms of um, accuracy. Also, these sights are really bright during the day because they have fiber optic and they also re work really well at night because they have tritium. So it's a combination of tritium and fiber optic. So they call them 24 seven sights because they're you know bright night and day. And um, I actually like them. They're not really, um, I wouldn't say they are tactical sights because you know they don't have too much of a sharp edge that you could probably rack it on like the heel of a boot or something like that. But you know, for self-defense, they're pretty decent. Uh, the other modification I did was the um, grip, which is a rubber grip here. And um, initially the 45 Shield came out with a different type of stippling from the um, 9mm and the 40 Smith & Wesson version. Uh, people were complaining it's a little bit too slick. So they made the, um, the 45 version have like a nice aggressive type of um, stippling on it. But... Um, for me, I found it to be a little bit too aggressive and um, I wanted something that could, you know, cover that up and I opted to get this um, recoil reduction grip, which also really helps with the recoil. And um, it's pretty easy. You just, you know, you slip it on and it, it fits. Um, it has nice texture in here on the back and it has some kind of vents here and um, vents on the side and the front. Uh, strap is actually smooth, but it does make a difference in terms of how well I'm able to um, grip the gun and to um, manage recoil. So this definitely does help with the accuracy. Uh, holster wise, I have a Kydex holster that I pretty much uh, carry on my uh, right side. And it has pretty good retention, has an adjustment um, screw here that you can adjust with, you know, any kind of um, Phillips screwdriver so you can get more tension or release it. And then you can also make adjustments to the um, belt clip so you could cant it if you want to. I didn't do anything to the holster. This is the way it came and this is, you know, how I've used it since then and it works fine. And it's relatively uh, thin. It does secure the um, trigger guard, which is important. And I've actually practiced on um, shooting and drawing from this and shooting and haven't had any issues. I just went for a basic Kydex holster and it works fine. Um, and I carry the um, seven round mag in my pocket and the gun on my right side. And that's pretty much it. Um, as far as how it is held up so far, it has. It has held up significantly. I have shot, I would say, roughly about 200 rounds every time that I've gone to the range with this particular gun. Um, I would like to shoot more, but 45 ACP is expensive, man, so <laughs> I got to keep it contained. Um, but I shoot rough, I've shot roughly about 200 rounds or a little bit more each time I've gone to the range. And I actually logged most of my um, range visits. And um, I've actually done um, 10 with this one. So, you know, 2,000 rounds. And I have had no issues. No issues whatsoever. Not one failure, nothing. The gun works flawlessly. Uh, the trigger pull on this is actually nicer than the um the nine millimeter shield i at the time i'm doing this video they came out with the um, the shield 2.0 so i'm sure that trigger is going to be similar to this one because this 45 uh, acp version of the shield came out long after the um the 9 and the 40 came out so but the trigger pull on this is pretty sweet pull Nice and crisp, it doesn't really have too much, you know, take up. 
And as far as the reset, very audible. Yeah, so overall it's a, it's a very good gun. Like I said, if the 45 ACP is, you know, round that you prefer and you love the shield, you may want to take a look at this. You know, most people will be scared like, oh my God, you know, it's, the round is too big for such a tiny gun and it's actually not. I had a guy at the range ask me to shoot it and he was shooting a nine millimeter shield. I had him shoot uh, five shots. I believe he took it out to like about, I would say 30 feet or 10 yards. And he was able to put four out of the five shots within the circle. And I'll show you guys that video as well. And that was the first time he's shooting this gun. So it's a pretty decent gun. All right, um, it holds up just for you guys who wanted to know. And um, we're gonna go ahead and stop talking right now. And we're gonna shoot this motherfucker. Let's go. All right, so we at the range. We're about to shoot the uh, M&P Shield 45. Um, the distance we're going to be shooting at today is 25 feet, which is a little bit over um, seven yards. And we're going to be shooting a six-inch reactive circle target. Pretty much when the target gets hit, it changes color from black to like a bright green now we're going to be using the uh, six round magazine and um, we're going to be putting five shots initially in the magazine shoot and then if we um, based on where our shots are if we need to make adjustments we will we'll put another five rounds in and then we'll um, try again so first shot second third, fourth, the fifth one seems to have gone like towards the, um, just outside of the um, circle there. So let's um, zoom out right now. And, uh, and then we're gonna just um, pull the target in to see how we did. Looking at the, um, the uh, viewfinder, I can see that I hit um, the target four times. And there was one that went just below. So that's the first five shots. I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, other five shots loaded up. And um, make some adjustments to see if we could get the groups a little bit closer to the center of that um, six inch circle and um, see how we do so right now we have three to the bottom and then one within the circle so we're gonna try and see if we can um, put some more shots right there All right, so one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, so got all five shots in the circle. Second time around at 25 feet. Alright, so, all right, so next up we're going to take the target up to 35 feet. Um, it's still a 6 inch reactive target. We're going to load up um, five rounds at first. See how we do. And then if necessary, we can um, make adjustments and then we'll try another five rounds at the same distance of 35 feet. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in here. So you guys can see the target better. First shot, second, third hit. So it looks like I got uh, three hits in. Just gonna try the second mag, one, that's a bullseye three four all right so in total it looks like I got seven shots out of the ten on target all right so 
had this guy at the range take a run with the um, 45 shield he has the 9 millimeter and he um, made some pretty nice shots with it as well he was very surprised at how easy it was to shoot alright guys that's it thank you so much for watching the video don't forget if you like the video to give it a thumbs up it helps the video go viral if you want to see more videos in the future subscribe to the channel thanks so much for watching god bless